this is a bit of a different video for me. Uh, this is actually just a quick rant. <laughs> and I have basically two questions to ask people in this rant. Number one, why didn't you just get a MakerBot? That's probably going to be the title of the video. Why didn't you just get a MakerBot? <laughs> and the second question is kind of, if you did, how are you managing to screw this up? So this is my MakerBot Replicator 5th Gen. It's one of like the older printers from MakerBot. I got it four years ago. And it's one, it's got a Smart Extruder Plus. And my Smart Extruder Plus is like a little bit screwed up. <laughs> it still works fine. And that's kind of the point of this video. Like this printer is a freaking workhorse. I have printed miles of filament with this thing, different brands, different types, PLA, ABS, um, everything from like cheap brands, uh, like from Fry's Electronics and stuff, all the way up to the MakerBot filament, which is what I usually use. Now when I first got it, I had some failed prints, right? I didn't know how to use it. So I figured out some settings that worked, I printed some cubes, I printed some benches and stuff, and I figured out some settings that, you know, different quality levels, different features, supports and all that, how to use that stuff. And then I was basically done with screwing around with my printer and ever since then I've been using it to print useful things. Right? Today I'm printing it's working right now on the seventh iteration of a case that I designed for a relay module right here. I'm just doing a few iterations to try and get the holes exactly the way I want them. But this is the lowest quality print that this printer can do. And that's with the smart extruder that's four years old. So I was on Amazon and I was gonna get a new smart extruder. And I was looking at the reviews and people were all like, oh, this product sucks, it's terrible, I can't get it to work. And people had pictures of total fails with it, you know? I mean, they had pictures of it spraying filament all over the place or pictures of it completely melting down, getting clogged and so on. So there is a little bit of that and I understand that MakerBot gets a bad reputation sometimes because they do have those problems and I think probably every printer has those kind of issues when people do certain things and that's what I want to get at. I'm not the only person in the world who bought a MakerBot and then started printing things and basically didn't have any issues after that. So I wonder if some of the company's poor reputation might be just due to users not understanding this product. This is a printer that you get and you spend a little extra money because you just want to print things. <laughs> That's all I'm interested in. I'm not interested in rebuilding a printer. I know how printers work. It doesn't interest me. I don't want to rebuild a printer every week. I just want to print stuff. <clears throat> so, so that's what I've been doing for four years with this printer. It's just printing stuff. <laughs> and I wonder why more people don't just make that decision. Just spend the extra money, get a MakerBot, or form labs or something like that, right? Spend the extra money and get a printer that you can just use to print stuff and you don't have to rebuild it every weekend. The second question I have is like, yeah, what are people doing wrong that is preventing them from being able to use this product to its fullest extent. You know? Let me know what your thoughts are on that. You know? 
Basically, why didn't you get a more expensive printer instead of going to the forums and complaining every week about how crappy your printer is and getting wacky advice about how to repair every little thing? You know? This thing has done this for so many hours. With basically no issues, right? If I send it a screwed up model or something, I've had it do things where it like knocked the model over or whatever, but it's all been easily explainable as my fault. I passed it a bad set of instructions. So I don't know why that bothers me so much, but I guess it, it kind of does, you know? Instead of complaining about your printer, spend the extra money and get a MakerBot replicator and use it for four years without spending any more money on it. Doesn't that make sense? It does to me. 